Hi, this is Tom Morrison, and this, this is KD Chan. And we're here to talk to you today about the squat and how to squat safely, especially for your knees and for your low back. Now, the first problem that people have with squatting is they oftentimes want to go straight down. And so they end up with their knees way out here over their toes and their heels off the floor. That puts a lot of pressure on your knees and they go, ouch. So let me show you a better way to do that. Katie, why don't you stand sideways, facing this way. There you go. Your feet are about shoulder width apart. Your toes angled out slightly. And then, rather than squatting straight down, bring your hips back. There you go. Push your hips back. Yeah. Then come back up. If you sit back like you're going to sit in a chair, come on down again. You take a lot of pressure off your knees, and that's better. You can also put your feet, hands out in front. There you go. Now face back towards the camera. One more time. Yeah, there you go. See how Kitty's knees go out? What you don't want is to let your knees fold in. Sometimes, under the weight of your body, people will let their knees fall inwards. You want your knees to go out over your toes. So think knees out, hips back. Should be slow or fast? Usually, you're talking about a descent of about two or three seconds down. Hold for a moment, and then come back up. Slower is also nicer for the joints. Okay? Thanks, you. Now, I brought David over here. This is David Bops. You can see David is a lot taller than Kitty is. And the length of your legs affects how deep you can get safely. So, David, I want you to do the squat here for us. Feet about shoulder width. Squat down. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to push the knees out and back out. See? Now, turn sideways and we'll look at you from the side. Now, when you're squatting, you want your upper body to be at the same angle as your shin. But as David gets all the way down, he winds up having to fold forward more because his leg is so long. So for David, the safest depth to get to is a little above parallel. Come on down, David, just stop right about there. See here, this is where his upper body and his legs are in the same parallel position. That's about a 90 degree angle at his knee and that's what's safe and healthy for him. If he was to go much lower, one more time then, if he was to go much lower, he'd almost fold in half and his back would round out. So that's too low for him to go safely. So the bottom line is, knees out, hips back, and come down as low as you safely can for your body mechanics. This is Tom Morrison, David Bobst here at the Bradley Wellness Center. We'll see you next time.